no one can figure out why. Was he scared, feeling threatened? Well, the dog's owners want answers. Now they're suing the officer and the city saying they don't want this officer on the street anymore. WGN's Julie Unruh has that story. This is seven-month-old Colonel, a bull terrier recovering from bullet wounds allegedly fired by a Chicago officer over the weekend. His owners are ticked about the cop, the bullets, and the state of their stud, who one day they had hoped to show. And they're questioning the state of the officer, who they claim was totally unprovoked. My firm belief is this person should not be on the street, particularly with a firearm. This amateur video shows Al Phillips outside his home Saturday afternoon when a Chicago police officer was writing him a ticket for blocking the sidewalk near his driveway. I went out to um, talk to the policeman uh, about it and my little dog sort of went out with me and next, within a, a few seconds, I had t the two shots, boom, boom. Todd McClay was across the street and saw the whole thing. The dog wandered over to the sidewalk, was walking around, sniffing at the ground, wagging his tail, and the officer yelled for him, for the owner to get his dog, waited about two seconds, yelled again for him to get his dog, and then did not even wait another two seconds before he pulled his gun and fired twice. A local school just a few doors down, one bullet hit the dog's leg, another must have ricocheted off the ground, leaving shrapnel inside the animal's abdomen. Five hours of surgery and three days later, the colonel was going home. Standing with their lawyers, the Phillips family filed suit today, alleging excessive force and, as a result, emotional distress. We don't believe there was any cause here for the officer to unholster his gun to begin with, let alone fire two rounds at, at this uh, puppy. And the story doesn't end there, adding insult to dog injury. 48 hours after the dog was shot, the uh, lieutenant and the uh, sergeant came to the Phillips household and issued a ticket to Mr. Phillips for not having his dog on a leash. The Phillips were expecting an apology. They got an additional ticket instead from two different officers who were angry the media had been notified. They delivered this ticket to the Phillips on Monday, December 3rd, but it is dated clearly December 1st, the same day as the dog shooting. That's crazy. That's harassment. Can they even do that? Um, it, it made no sense to me. In the Buena Park neighborhood, Julie Unruh, WGN News. That officer accused of unnecessarily discharging his gun is being investigated by the Internal Police Review Authority, but we're told he's still working and carrying his police gun. The colonel, the injured dog, is going to be okay. His vet bill so far, $7,500 and growing. Under